Hi there, my name's Steve, and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of GitHub Flow, a branching strategy to improve your team's throughput, reduce build issues, and deploy to production much more frequently. So let's say your team is employing all the best advice out there. You're agile, keeping your stories and tasks small, and getting rapid feedback on your progress. You're committing frequently, each developer is pushing code into the repository multiple times a day. And you're continuously deploying, you can see your new features show up in production almost as soon as they're finished. But it's not all roses. Your Slack channels are filling up with disturbing messages about builds being broken, and the associated promises that it'll be fixed real soon now. Developers are constantly having to merge, slowing them down. Confidence is low, you are never sure that what you've committed is done, or you're reluctant to check in at all because you know it's not. Basically, developing is slower than you want it to be. If this is sounding familiar, you may have a problem with your branching strategy, or you might not have a branching strategy at all. But don't worry, the folks over at GitHub have come up with a simple, elegant strategy so you can write code independently, commit frequently, and deploy when you're ready. This is called GitHub Flow. Before we get into it, a heads up. This is great for SaaS offerings and internal projects, but doesn't work so well for product development. It doesn't deal with hot fixes and release number management. For those cases, look up Git Flow. It may seem complicated at first, but it works well. Moving on, the simplest branching strategy is not much of a strategy. It's more of a straight line. We start with our existing Git repository. We work on our feature and commit it to master. Initially, it seems good, but our CI server picks it up and reports an error. Now, we know that master is broken. And if we're not quick to send out an email saying, don't pull from master in all caps, we will have developers screaming that their local build is broken. It also means that no features can be deployed until this one is fixed. Indeed, nothing can be deployed until there is a commit on master where every feature is complete and tested. In a larger team, this becomes more and more unlikely. Eventually, you fix the bugs, check it in, and because no one is screaming anymore, everything must be good. This is a very common branching strategy because it's so straightforward to implement, but there must be a better way, right? GitHub Flow works around a simple assumption and a single rule. The assumption is that branching is easy, and if you use Git, it is. The rule is that master must always be deployable to production. So let's look at the flow here, with a single contributor working on a single feature. Mary starts work on a feature and immediately creates a branch and commits her changes to that branch. Any bad commits that Mary makes will only affect people on that feature branch, and continuous integration can still be run on her branch, so she gets rapid feedback on bad commits. She finishes her work and then immediately creates a pull request to go from the feature branch back to master. The pull request is a fantastic way for developers to weigh in on the change. Not only does it reduce the number of bugs, but it also promotes knowledge sharing. At this point, the pull request can be deployed to a staging environment and be automatically or manually tested. Also, if people make a fuss, changes can be quickly incorporated on the same branch and not affect other people. Eventually, everyone will be happy and the changes can be merged to master, which is set up to deploy automatically. Simply adding a branch and pull request has improved the quality dramatically, but let's see what it looks like when there are multiple team members working on different features. Mary starts work on a new branch for feature 1, and she commits a few times. Meanwhile, John comes along and decides to start on feature 2. He creates another branch, also from master. Now at this point, both John and Mary have made changes and pushed them to the central server, so everything is under source control. Despite that, they are not stepping on each other's toes or slowing each other down. There's no merging or build breaking changes being introduced, the features are isolated. Mary finishes her change, does the pull request thing, and merges to master, and so deploys her feature. Not long after, John finishes his feature and is also ready to deploy. But since master has moved, John needs to merge it back into his feature branch. Of course, this may introduce build errors, but this can be fixed on his own branch. 
Then it can be merged back into master via the same pull request logic that we've been using the whole time. In this case, despite having breaking builds, merge issues, and concurrent development, our deployments were safe and our workers were never blocked. Additionally, only features that were complete were deployed. There are separate releases for each feature. Recall that the single branch strategy puts us in a position where we are deploying features that are still in progress on the task board. In GitHub Flow, it's only deployed when it is finished. If it's in production, it's there because that's where it belongs. So that's our workflow, GitHub Flow. If you want more information, check out our reference on SSW rules or see GitHub's own guide to GitHub Flow. Happy branching! Thank <laughs> you.